Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. Um, if you are not having a great day, I just want to say, remember, you are the creator of your reality. You know, so just try to make the best of it. Um, this is going to be an angel reading. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, um, welcome back. All right. Um, I've already cleansed um, Sage and Palace and Toad, the area so let's just go ahead and dive into it we're going to do pile number one pile number two and pile number three like we always do whichever pile resonates with you please let me know down in the comment section um the moon has just shifted into libra and the moon is uh, actually still full. It's currently where I am. Um, it is at 98.3 right now. So if you haven't had time to ground yourself, um, pray to your spiritual team. This could be your angels, the most high divine, um, your ancestors, you know. If you still want to set your crystals out so they can charge, you know, just sit under the moon and absorb, you know, the moon's energy, you can also do those things as well. Alright, so we have four of earth. We have the queen of water. And we have the dreamer. Alright. Uh, if you guys want to get a um, pen and a journal, I'll give you time to do that. That way you're able to write down anything that you want to write down. Um, as you follow along with me okay so normally like I said with the full moon um, I've said this before in other videos you have this inkling to like start researching information looking things up you start to get more um, into your spirituality so for some of you pal too um, maybe resonating with you uh, if you have spiritual abilities especially if you are a water sign um, so yes if you are a earth sign power number one may resonate with you more um, you may be used to controlling everything however you may feel like you know what I am not going to be in control I'm going to let everything happen more so in divine timing um, power number one you you are very um, you're very optimistic you know what I'm saying you are you have a really good energy you care about um, how you look how you dress uh, these things are very um, important to you you don't let yourself be boggled down by what others think and what others believe. You kind of, you know, are more like the take charge person. Um, pile number one, you may have been seeing fours um, and sets. So if that resonates with you, please let me know. Pile number two, we have uh, loving, giving, and obviously we have psychic. Um, don't let anyone change you from your energy. So if you are dealing with people who are not loving, just remember who you are. This is your energy. This is how you always are. Stay in that energy regardless of what anyone tries to pull you out of. Even if you become ungrounded, um, use water as a form of med meditation. Sit by the water if you can a pool, um, a lake, a river, um, even taking a shower or a bath will help you connect um, to your psyche. 
but as well as to who you are um, it's another form of you know grounding yourself if um, you guys have been pal number three if you have been dreaming a lot lately um, this would be for you okay um, some of you are coming into a new beginning some of you have been praying um, for pregnancy you know you've been praying for the new house you know you want a dog you just want everything coming in yesterday in the baby reading um, it showed up that someone was dreaming of a baby girl so this could also be you okay um, you're believing this they're letting you know that you are protected your manifestations are protected um, you are protected as a whole you have the angels watching over you as well okay so if any of this resonates with you please let me know you know And if you guys are in pile number three, um, a lot of these beginnings, you may not, for some of you, you may not see the beginnings. Um, and it could be because you're dealing with endings currently. But you have to remember that endings are just a sign of new beginnings. All right. So we have nine of earth coming out for pile number one. Pile number one, you guys may be earth signs. All right, um, contentment, luxury, and independence. Okay. I'm going to see what else I can get for you guys. If you are an earth sign, you would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. So for pile number two, we have a couple of water cards. We have nine of water. We have wishes, dreams, and happiness. So there may be things that um, you may be dreaming, things that you may have wanted. Those things are coming um, into fruition for you, pile number two. Okay, which are all good signs. Um, Pile number two, you may be dreaming as well. So if you're dreaming and you're having, you know, um, visions and you're being drawn to the water even, um, this could be, you know, your confirmation to let you know, you know, hey, this is what we need you to do or this is us confirming that everything you've been praying for, you've been wishing for, it's coming true um, you are about to walk into your happiness you're at the nine stage the next stage is ten and the ten card did come out so you could be a cancer a Scorpio or Pisces or you could have these placements in your chart as well okay um, I feel like this these prayers and everything are coming um, after you've been in this stage you've already been here You've already been disappointed. You've already had regret. Some of you may be um, in that situation now, and they are giving you the confirmation that, hey, you know, this may be right now, but this is not your final chapter. Okay, so you could be getting ready to walk in to these blessings that we see here in uh, Ten of Water because everything is about to be complete for you. So you could have, you know, hit a rough patch and now you're walking into your blessings. Um, you radiate from love. So there's your double confirmation. Um, you may have been dealing with a situation and love and now everything is better and you have your family. So everything is looking on the up and up. You may have even had to um, move, move away from 
the family that you were raised with and you and this person are going on to start your life you know so everything is coming full circle and this um card you have a son so some of you could have that this resonates with you could have sons some of you guys could have uh, daughters however everything is going to be complete for pal number two all right so the next pal would be pal number three and we are going to get back to number one uh we have manifestation empowerment and preparedness so if you've been manifesting if you've been using this full moon to manifest i would say um definitely yeah somebody's definitely been manifesting with the moon because i just said that in here this card comes out and it says intuition illusion and revelation so if this is you pal number three um everything you've been manifesting is about to come into fold okay um things are being revealed to you you are learning what is um what is a revelation and what's coming to pass through the prophecies you may have been seeing versus what is the illusion okay you may be using your intuition more you may be following your gut more um, instead of listening to others and everything that you've been doing has been bringing you to this point all right um one and eight equals nine um two divided by 18 is nine so all of you guys from pal one to pal three are in that nine stage about to hit your 10. um as i was saying uh oh a couple months back this is the year of rewards okay so a lot of you are being rewarded because you've kept your faith you've kept believing and everything is just falling right on track for you um it may be too um that because of your strong faith that is why you're here where you are now okay which is just really amazing and i like how the cards have been coming out and um showing us that here uh, i have a card for earth for earth signs I'm going to see if I can get a few more, so just bear with me a second. Yeah, Ace of Water just came out, and that was actually at the top of the deck. And here it is, it's coming out again. Alright, so the first one I had was Seven of Water. So, uh, I mean Seven of Earth. Um, we have Investment, Assessment, and Patience. So, some of you are probably investing your money. Um, into something whatever that may be um, they're just letting you know to have patience because investments <clears throat> are definitely a process okay um, you're not going to get your um, investment um, it's not just gonna blow up overnight okay um, for some of you it may you know um, but they're wanting you to have patience you know when you when you plant a tree the tree doesn't just grow fruit overnight it takes time so they're reminding you you know to be mindful of that take your time have patience and everything is going to flow as it should you just have to be <clears throat> a little more patient all right okay so then we have ace of earth abundance opportunity and resources so in the seventh stage you start to see everything bloom the angels are watching over you and everything that you have invested in and now they're letting you know that hey look abundance is coming right through this portal for you okay now you can clearly see here there are leaves on the ground this is a time of harvest what we call harvest time um 
here you have the you know the butterfly this butterfly could be an ancestor watching over you there are things gleaming on the ground however this is the harvest season so this is in the fall so you could look forward to these things coming um, in in the fall and then on uh, pile number three yesterday we had August come up so this could be a double confirmation um, for somebody okay so I hope this is resonating with you guys I am going to move on to the next deck so cards for pile number one we have outdoors, um, Archangel Jophil, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature. Um, relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So this is power number one. Power number two, you may be having brilliant ideas right now. Um, it says Archangel Uriel, uh, yes, your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea into fruition okay so whatever these ideas that you guys are having i suggest that you um you know as the cards say take action don't just leave them aside um don't just you know cast them away they're really good ideas so go forth with those whatever they may be you could be getting ready to start a new business. Um, you could be somebody who has joined my school and you have these ideas, you know, after meeting with your advisor about what it is you wanna do. You may be joining some other school um, or already be in school. So, yes, my alarm. So yeah, you could you could be doing a lot right now. It's crazy my alarm comes on right at 11 o'clock while I'm saying this um, because of the number 11, right? So yeah, I feel like you guys are really moving forward. Um, and I'm also really loving how the colors are just coordinating um, with the decks. So we have comfort. All right, we have another archangel coming out saying, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So, pile number three, you guys, you know, you may be doing some healing. You know, healing healing is good. I advise that anyone, you know, who needs healing, heal, all right? Um, we have another card coming out, Career Transition. Your life, your purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So I believe, you know, that you guys, like I said, a lot of you have really been putting in, you know, the work. You've been putting in the time. You've been putting in the effort, you know, and everything is just happening the way that it should for you. And even the angels... Are coming out and giving that confirmation um, power number two you guys may need to uh, prioritize Archangel Metatron is coming out saying focus on your highest priorities I will help you get organized and motivated okay If any of these messages resonate, please let me know. I like to know when the messages resonate with you guys. Um, it really helps, especially when the signs and everything are just um, so direct, you know. And you may your your um, your rising sign or your. I don't want you guys to think that this is just for your sun sign. You know, this could be for sun, moon, or rising. Okay? Um, this doesn't just have to be for, you know, the sun signs. So, anyone with these placements, if you don't know um, what your placements are, 
then I advise that you use Cafe Astrology and find out um, what your sun, moon, and rising signs are. I'm trying to see if I can get any more messages out of here. Yeah, I got one. So we have victory. All right, Archangel Sandalfon says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So I'm, I really want to congratulate everyone because you guys are really on the move, you know, and things are moving in a good light for you and they're shifting in a very positive direction for you. So these are all good um, signs and it's really good to hear um, good news. It's really good to be able to give good positive readings. Um, sometimes the readings come out and they're more blunt or they're, um, you know, they're more, they're not as always, you know, what we want to hear, but that's a part of getting the readings done because, you know, the readings are not going to always tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear. And if you want, if you want a good balanced person in your life, and I'm not just saying this because I'm an Aries, um, I'm saying this because a lot of people will sugarcoat things with you. Um, the spirits, the angels, your ancestors, they'll never sugarcoat anything with you. Just like an Aries. An Aries will never sugarcoat anything with you. They will always tell you the truth, no matter how blunt or hard it is to hear. And in all honesty, that's what a lot of people need. They they already have enough people who lie to them and don't tell them the truth. So they definitely need people in their lives who are going to um, tell them the truth. Because if someone is around you and they're not telling you the truth, then they're not helping you at all. All right. They're just they're more so hindering you and keeping you stuck. And right now, the angels are moving you forward. Um, power number one, they're guiding you to pay more attention to your crown chakra, all right? Um, maybe even, you know, do some protection over your crown chakra. Um, one thing about the crown chakra, it deals with your head, right? So, for me, I like do my own hair. I don't let anyone touch my crown, you know? Like, I'm real protective over my ashe. Um, because that's where your knowledge is, you know, that's where your knowledge is. And maybe you need to be more protective of that, okay? So just take that how it resonates, don't force it. It says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of the true divine guidance sent in, sent in answer to your prayers. Okay, so let's just say power number one. You have an eye, you have this great idea to you, it's great to you, it doesn't need anything, it's perfect, right? But you're talking to someone else about it, and they're saying, No, I don't think you should do that. I, I think that's wrong, don't do that like that. Uh uh, that's that's that idea is not a good one, it's all over the place. Don't listen to people like that because <clears throat> people like to speak fear into your plans okay and the people telling you that you can't do something are the people you need to be mindful of and the people that you need to kind of push them aside you know because they're not really in their your best interest um, a lot of the time these people are telling you that you can't do something because they know you can um, and they don't want you to be better at it than them all right so pay very close attention to um your crown chakra and what you hear see and feel um for power number two we we have uh ear chakras right notice messages that appear as sounds music and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers now some of you have probably never heard of the term ear chakras you're like what wait but we all do have more than seven chakras 
um if i was you i would definitely look into that maybe get you a chakra chart that can help you um understand how many chakras you actually have and what they are used for okay um this chakra chart i have here it you know it's kind of basic it has the seven chakras this one doesn't have them all um the other one that i have with the other chakras that's not near me right now so i can't um get that for you but get you a chakra chart get you a book on chakras um you know kind of be different in typing it in um so don't just don't just type in books on seven chakras you know maybe type in books on all the chakras or something like that um but back to the card it says the sounds music and words this could come from tv this can come from your radio um you could be out for a walk and you could hear you know a message and you just ask them hey what are you trying to tell me you know what are you trying to tell me what are you trying to show me you know i i i see it i see that you're trying but you know be a little more clear you know um pay attention to the words this is why i always tell my clients keep a little journal everywhere you go um even like the little the real little ones that you can keep in your pocket keep a pen and a journal wherever you go because that will help you so much you know it, it really will because you can you can write down the messages versus telling yourself oh i'm gonna remember it how many of you guys say oh i'm gonna remember it and then you forget it you know and then you you're just forcing yourself to try to remember what it was but then you can't so don't do that to yourself just keep a pen and a little notepad handy all right um i'm loving this energy because you guys they're telling you to work on your chakras right now um your throat chakra um power number three you may need to speak more you know on how you feel stand and sit on how you feel you know and don't let it, anyone push you away from that this card says the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth all right um there is this conception that when you speak your truth you have to be upset or you have to be loud and you have to be very vocal you can say exactly what you want to say how you want to say it is up to you but you can also radiate as the card says out of a place of love you don't have to be loud you don't have to be argumentative um or possessive even with the conversation you can just say hey this is this is what i'm feeling right now this is how i feel this is why i feel that way um and you also have to remember um for anyone not just pal number three but no one can tell you how to feel how you feel about a situation is how you feel now you and these people y'all can sit down y'all can communicate about it you guys can talk about it however they can still not tell you how to feel okay so keep that in mind i'm gonna see if i can get a few more which i did three exactly all right And then at the top of the deck, we have clear, or oh, cancel, clear, and delete. So if this resonates with anyone, let me know. It says, use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Okay, um, that could be for any of you guys. So we have heart chakra. Okay, we have singing and dancing, and we have mediumship, all right? So, um, with heart chakra, it says, the answer you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love, okay? So, how many times have you know you've been searching for the answer right you've been looking for the answer 
not understanding that everything you need is is within the answers you need are within sometimes you can't find these answers anywhere else and we've all been in that situation whether it be information about our families um, whether it be you know far as our our ancestors um, far as um, a, a job seeking guidance whether it be your next move whatever it is um, me personally I always go to my spiritual team and I ask them questions before I make sudden moves but at the same time I do go off of my intuition when I was seeking answers about my biological family I went to my ancestors you know um, a lot of people offered to help me a lot of people said they would and I kind of listened to some of the things they said but I didn't take it to heart you know um, because some of the information didn't it didn't feel right so what I learned was in doing this when you go within you'll find the answers more so there may be some of you who like me um, who went within and you always resonated with a certain place you always resonated with a certain movie or TV show um, about a certain place or a certain type of people that you may have felt connected to where ancestry is concerned um, you may have you know resonated with a certain time period you know what I'm saying um, all of these things that we resonate with we end up researching you know and research is like the best thing you could ever do because you are putting in the work and I talk about that about putting in the work a lot because a lot of people don't want to put in the work they just want things to be handed to them and when things are just handed to you anybody can give you anything it doesn't necessarily mean that they're even giving you the truth they're just telling you what they think you want to hear and that's not the way you want to receive information you know when you reach out to the angels when you reach out to your ancestors your guides your your entire spiritual team they will give you what you need especially when it comes to the divine most high he will give you exactly what it is that you need okay so i hope that message helps um all pals so pal number two we have singing and dancing so you could be a singer you could like to dance or this is something that you could do you know in your free time if it's not a hobby um music might make you feel better um to me music is like a medicine for the soul anytime you're feeling down you're feeling confused about something um you're even feeling sad about something music literally helps uplift your beat um, if you are not feeling better by listening to music then maybe um, reconsider the music choices that you are listening to um, a lot of people you know they'll be sad and they'll listen to sad songs sad songs are gonna lower your mood and not they're not gonna put you on a higher vibrational level all right so now we have express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement all right um for me you know what we do we, we we listen to a lot of music when we do our ceremonies our rituals we dance you know through those rituals and the ancestors love that the spirits love that they love when you're having a really good time so maybe incorporate you know that if you already have it into um your daily life it may help you feel a whole lot better okay um power number three we have mediumship it says you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones okay so if you have that ability you have to hone that ability um mediumship can be scary for those who don't know um 
how to deal with that because a lot of people that I've dealt with in the past that's been like their main thing you know I don't want to see dead people I'm scared I don't want to see nobody like that you know and there's a this big misconception about how the ancestors come to you they're not crawling on their arms bent over backwards crawling towards you they look just regular like us you know um anytime you are seeing things like that those are more demonic and evil forces and entities so you would want to stay clear you know of those um but they're going to come to you you know as regular people um you may see angels come and they may have wings some of them may not um but they will come to you and they won't be there to hurt you they'll be there to help you so when you notice these things you want to ask questions you know who are you what is your name um how are you you know here to help me are you here to help me you know have you been sent to help me you know as ask questions what number have you have you been showing me numbers that um, are supposed to resonate with me that are messages from you you know ask your innermost questions because that is the perfect time to ask them all right so i hope this um reading has helped you guys um you know maybe open up um, to what it is that you know that you're needing clarity on I hope it's been able to um, give you those answers that you were looking for if so please let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video